Good afternoon, Builder News. I am Breck. I am doing some tries from the Bay Area, the Silicon Valley. Actually, I don't know. We might still technically be in San Francisco. I'm not really sure where the valley starts and where. Anyway, <laughs> quit yapping. Let's do some tries. So last night I got the opportunity to go to Bloomberg Beta and they had really fast internet. Oh my goodness, I tweeted. I didn't I didn't put this on Wi-Finder. Wi-Finder, if you don't know, by the way, is, um, oh my goodness. I'm on slow internet right now, which makes me say I should, I should, I should switch to the scroll version of Wi-Finder. But, but unfortunately, <laughs> So if you're not familiar with the scroll, we're building a offline first web. And unfortunately right now, it's still very early days. You, to use it, you have to use the command line. And what do I do is I do WWS. I can see what sites are on there. So we've got six sites. And as you can see on this machine, I actually haven't subscribed to the Y Finder site yet. So I do need to download that site. And to do that, well, it's easy. I can just do it. WWS fetch Y Finder. Oh my goodness, and we've got a bug. That's embarrassing, folks. Folder names for each is not a function. That is so embarrassing. So, oh my goodness. Looks like I was in the middle of a change. This is what happens when you're, usually I'm just staying in one place, but now I'm bouncing around. And um, coding while I'm coding while building. So it looks like we were in the middle of making some updates. Okay, just minor updates. Um, and that's why, that's why we um, have some bugs here. Full names for each, fetch command line 181. Let's take a look. Luckily, the worldwide scroll is a tiny amount of code. <laughs> It's only 180 lines of code at the moment. Folder names, fetch command. Oh, interesting. So this is an interesting because I'm used to, okay, duh. I wanna fetch all if folder names length. So wait, folder names for each is not a function. So what is folder names? So fetch commands, if folder lengths, let me just see what this is, because because basically that should be triggering this if clause. And so that's why there's a bug here. Why isn't that, what is this? Oh, it's like, do we gotta trim it? Um, maybe we're not trim it, trimming it. Um, if folder name's length. So it does have a, um, it, it looks like it's a string, honestly, and it should not be a string. Should be in an array. I did just upgrade something. So let's just see. Um, console, let me just do this one more time. A, A. Good old print debugging. A. Oh, interesting. Folder names. Oh, duh, it's the second parameter. Oh my goodness. Nope. Cannot read properties undefined. That's what I was looking for. If no fold names or not length. Great, so now it's gonna update all my sites. I find it, oh, but now I'm on horribly slow internet right now. Less than one megabit per second. Fetch, Wi-Finder. Luckily, what? Oh no. Okay. So really, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. I broke something when I upgraded. <laughs> this is why I should be. I should not be writing things about tests. Luckily, we do have. A stub for tests. Just it's just a stub though, I, because.
because this is this is brand new of course most of our effort has gone into the scroll and scroll hub so the worldwide scroll which builds on all those things is brand new as you can see we have don't even have tests yet but but we should add some um, so I don't break things this, this is a terrible demo anyway I'm gonna fix this after because the internet's so slow here um, but if but the Wi-Fi speed in the Bloomberg beta office was just fantastic over 300 megs a second unfortunately I'm not gonna put that on Wi Finder because it's it was like on my eighth floor or tenth floor or something and you needed to like you know it's not it's not a public Wi-Fi network so this is these are these are networks like the Caltrain and coffee shops and stuff like that but anyway boy do I wish I had that internet right now let's take a look at Bloomberg betas website finally we got to the event transparency rules love it I am a very transparent person I'm always striving to be more transparent oops what did I do oh I just clicked on something um, and and yeah I just I really I don't like secrecy wait what the hell now here Bloomberg beta I click on that hands off the keyboard we're going to bloombergbeta.com do, do, do. I swear to God, it, oh, it auto redirects to a GitHub. Interesting, interesting. You're probably looking for our website. This is it. We moved our website here so you can see the insides of how we work. Okay, interesting. Well, I'm gonna do one better. Look at this. Let's just, oh my goodness. This internet is so slow and what, what grinds my gears is that our stuff should be fast. Why is this? Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to create a website called Bloomberg, and I'm going to clone your source code with Scroll Hub, which is the fastest way to publish. So I don't know what your repo is, but we're just going to clone it. And um, uh, crap, I probably should have done a shallow clone. I should have done a shallow clone. I thought I did, maybe did set it up to do a shallow clone, but I'm gonna do a quick note to self on Scroll Hub. Um, cannot get Bloomberg. Well, something went wrong there. Do, 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 do. Something, something's not right. That was a bug. Let me look at the history. Um, anyway, let's do it by hand. So we clone this. The burn mode. So we've got your. We do have the source code, but why is this not? Folder name or file name is missing in editor.js. Oh, you know. Oh, it's because we expect a scroll file. Um, okay, so obviously, for good reason. Um, Anyway, so we don't have that here. Oh, and you've got spaces in your file names. Fuck. Okay. These are all great bugs. I'm just going to pop in. Oops. Pop in to Scroll Hub. And, and I'll do that later. Okay, here we go. Issue, sorry. This is gonna take one sec. God, this is a long, boring video. New issue. Issues cloning Bloomberg beta. We got, I think, perhaps spaces and file names. The culprit. Now, I really don't like spaces and file names because. I don't think you should either because the space is not a URL friendly character, so it gets converted to percentage two zero. It just makes the URLs look ugly. So I would rename these. I would I would do of course I would get rid of mark, move off markdown to scroll. You know what? Let's just do this for you. 
that's what we're gonna do. Um, let's clone this. Cloning it to manual. Oh, I am so sorry, this internet is so slow. Oh, I missed my 300. Your internet at the office was, was literally 500 times faster. But it's okay to do that once in a while. So I'm gonna rename this manual. And we'll keep your number scheme in here. Manual one in our portfolio. Portfolio, this is number two. Now should I do the one manual? Yeah, we can do the one manual. We'll keep the one dash manual, sorry. But I'm gonna rename them to scroll our portfolio too, so we'll do two in our portfolio, three criteria for investing, this is three, dot scroll, and four, reading list, oh this is going to be a fun read, four dot scroll, and then readme dot scroll, Okay, nice, it's a little bit nicer. Read me, start here, why we exist. Okay, this will work. Um, let's go ahead and go back to Scroll Hub. We're just gonna call this BB for now. Um, actually, no, let's do Call this Bloom, Bloomberg dot hub dot scroll dot hub. Give you your own custom subdomain. Now we don't need to do anything else. That's gonna um, create and it's gonna provision an SSL certificate for you. And then let's take these files that we just made. Um, where did I put them? I put them here in the manual. We're just gonna drag and drop them onto scroll hub so that'll upload all five of those over my very slow internet but luckily they're just text files and even at 100 kilobytes a second it should only take a couple seconds there's no bugs but boy it's sure to file upload success oh my goodness look at these all files uploaded successfully wow that still took a long time oh and i strip out the dashes from file names too. Now, is that a little too much? Maybe. Maybe that's a little excessive. Okay, so um, so now if I go into the index, let's let's include your README here. And how do we do a file include? We just do, we just type the name of the file. Um, and so now your website should be live on the web with its own custom domain and it should have an SSL certificate. Um, and it's on slow internet, but look at this. It's live, it's working. And um, let's see what's in this README. Wow, it's slow. All right, we'll, we'll read it here. We believe we are seeing profound changes in the way business work. Our investor, Bloomberg LP, wants to support and understand these changes. Backing and building startups want to way to do that, so we created Bloomberg Beta. Below is a snapshot of how we think, including a link to a previously internal, previously internal operating manual. Okay, so look how we do links in um, scroll. It's just a lot nicer. Okay, we, we do them after the text. You indent by one, we create, we call this thing a subparticle. Each line in scroll is called a particle. So we call this a sub particle. And then we just say, select this text, throw the, throw the link to there. Um, and I'm guessing you want this to be bold. So I think we just do a single asterisk for, for bold. Um, or maybe you wanted it italics, I wasn't sure. Bloomberg Bader is an early stage venture room backed by Bloomberg LP. Okay, so let's go ahead and update that link. Investing out of a $75 million seed fund focused broadly on the future of work. 
We are now investing out of our fourth fund, same size and focus as the first three, as well as a 75 mil opportunity fund. Um, choose our investments independently without preference for companies who have a want a relationship with Bloomberg. Now, here's a question. Do you give all your companies, your portfolio companies, a Bloomberg terminal? I've always wanted one of those things. I don't really know what it is, but I want one. We invest for financial return. We do see Bloomberg as a template for startups founded on a powerful idea, bringing transparency to markets, achieving global scale with a strong and open culture that embraces technology led by its founders for decades. To serve our founders, we seek, like the rest of Bloomberg, to bring a t different worlds together, business, technology, culture, the public sector, among others. Why our website is on GitHub. In treating our founders as our customers, we often think about how to build as much trust as possible with them. We believe transparency in how we think, what we believe, and why is the first step to that trust. So a few months after we started our fund, we were writing an operating manual. Okay, we've already, we've already done this link right here. Let's just copy this. I'm guessing it's the same link. Um, and if you, if you do that, we're writing our operating manual. So, so that, look, this just gets rid of all this ugly syntax from the content, right? Except it's the, the syntax, the, uh, all that stuff goes after the text, the links. Love it. List of our founders, okay. Cool, can't wait to check that out. Um, a list of our founders. And the questions we ask ourselves when evaluating the startups. Grateful you're taking the time to learn about us. So here you are, when in doubt, as they say, read the um, manual. Okay, I will. Who we are, James. Got the pleasure to meet James in person last night. I've long followed his Twitter. Karen Klein, oh man, lots of people to follow, lots of things to fix. Now obviously, um, I don't have to do these things by hand. We can throw these into an LLM and, and have the LLM convert the rest of this document fellowships um, we take fellows opportun opportunistically blah 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 all right so let's just go ahead and update what was this the readme okay we're gonna speed this along now read the manual our creed our investor so yeah I mean this would just be so nice so much nicer as scroll do we have a we don't even have a function yet but we, we should, and an LLM could write this, where we just take a markdown file and generate the scroll. Like that, that's, that needs to be, hold on. Whew, that just would be so, we've started that, and it just, we just don't have time to do everything all at once, but maybe it's some, <laughs> somebody else's money besides mine, we could get some of this stuff done. Um, what we believe, what we look for in a startup, Let's, let's increase the font size. Um, returns that we generate go to fund Bloomberg Philanthropies giving alongside Mike Bloomberg. I think he was the mayor of New York City. Um, my dad was the mayor of Brockton, Massachusetts. Um, so I grew up as the, the mayor's son, which was quite annoying, but I got amazing experiences. My dad used to take me door to door uh, he never lost a precinct in his 10 years of mayor. He won all 28 precincts, um, and that was incredible. All the rich parts of town, the poor parts of town. He just treated everyone equally, and he taught me that from an early age. And um, anyway, so I like mayors. <laughs> um, oh, man, th I mean scroll that in all information should be more widely available that's what we want that's what the vision is to put a copy of the world's of humanity's best information smartest and 
humanity's knowledge in the in the pocket of every human being on earth everyone should get to benefit from that why not like if we don't want to do that what the hell are we here for you know what i mean <laughs> like we owe that to all our ancestors um This is great. Sorry, I'm just going to read quietly so I can read a little bit faster. Well, let me just go ahead and Create a header file. Oh man, this is low internet. I need to make it faster. So I'm just going to edit all these files in parallel. This is a great test for me because I thought it was super fast, but there are a couple of things I can do where where this this can load a hell of a lot faster. So all I need to do is include the, the header in this file, um, in all of these files. as you can probably tell I, I strive for per perfection in this language we don't waste a single word um, all right and so I wanted to create a github issue are we still gonna be using github issues not much longer we've got something better but just so now we have the header let me go into the header Oh, and I, we should have a, I got a new, another idea. Um, we should have a way to just do quick links. So I'm just gonna throw in some links here to like all of these things. Manual. Okay, what? It, so we've got an ordered list. Trying to think what, what would look nice. We're gonna do manual portfolio criteria for investing reading list. Um, and watch this. We just gotta type in manual. Oh, but I've got the number. And then portfolio in our port. Sorry, I'm gonna rename that. It's fun. I call it portfolio. Portfolio.html, then criteria for investing. We're going to just rename that to criteria. Criteria S83. And of course, I don't really need to keep these numbers in, but we're going to do that. Three criteria, then scroll. Investing. Whole thing. Oops. And then reading list. So now, how is our website coming along? Notice that this served over SSL. Behind the scenes, we provisioned an SSL cert with Let's Encrypt. Have a way to create a link, a quick link bar. So I just want to do that. And then I also want to, what was the other thing? Oh yeah. Yeah, 
at an LLM to write us a great markdown to scroll method and uh, online web page, whatever. Okay, so start here. Why we exist? You believe we are seeing profound changes. Okay, so now manual. So painfully slow. Portfolio criteria for investing with reading list. What do we look for in a we look for a reason to believe a founding team is extraordinary? They think they are exceptional. Check. <laughs> See granddad at the top of the phone. Check. Indifferent to no one's check. Exceptionally high paid pushers. Check. Yep. 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 <laughs> yep. Um Man, this is this is really brilliant. No wonder Bloomberg is so rich. Guys, brilliant. This is brilliant. Love it. Love it. Bond price list for U.S. government. But that's how it started. I love it. Well, we've got Wi-Fi prices. We've got Builder News. We have PLDB. Yeah, we PLDB is the most important. Man, sorry. Why am I even? I'm totally. <laughs> First money into a company. Yes. I mean, I put about a million dollars of my own money in, um, but no one. But then I got rejected from fucking I every fucking VC in the world I think except for you guys <laughs> yet <laughs> um, I would yeah we'd, we'd probably want to reincorporate this because I'm sure I, I did like Stripe Atlas what am I even talking about I don't know what about uh, North America sorry Hawaii is not part of North America it's part of the US. Um, themes, the deck. Demo is 50 times more useful than slides. Well, how about this for a demo? We're reading. <laughs> this is great. Um, Oh yeah, you can call all my references and you're gonna get lovers and haters. Um, our standard first check is up from 300K up to 1 million. Okay. Um, All right, well, we're only raising 50,000 at the moment, but then we're gonna raise 500,000 starting next week. Um, oh, that's cool. I would love to not be an angel anymore though. I gotta work. I gotta, I gotta focus on scroll. I've got too many angel bets anyway. I've got like 70 or something. Well, I, I think this is fantastic. I'm totally bought in. I don't wanna spend too much more time reading because I don't wanna get committed to this. Be like, oh, it's the perfect VC and then they reject us, so. Um, Non-negotiable, trustworthy, yes. Oh boy. 
I am too open, maybe. You might be like, God damn, Brett. <laughs> Get off Twitter. <laughs> Capable of building a diverse team, yes. Inclusive culture. I mean, my team is the most ridiculously diverse team you, you could ever imagine. You ever seen the Howard Stern show? That's kind of my team. Inclusive, depends. Everyone's welcome, but you need thick skin because we, we joke a lot. Background check, please. Divorce, painful, ugly divorce. Kicked out of Y Combinator. Got into Y Combinator twice. Fucking helped Air Bed and Breakfast become the Airbnb we know today. Helped Stripe, helped Dev Finance become Stripe. Get no fucking credit. That's totally fine. I love those two companies, but fuck Y Combinator. Sorry. The way they treated me, get no respect. Um, fuck them and their secret meetings. I love this. This is so ant this is so transparent, honest, intelligent. Love it. Product to market. Make businesses work better. Yes. We're not really on financial services, but people are going to use this everywhere. This is going to take over the world. I mean, think about the web. Wherever the web is used, the scroll will be used. Um, standard best protections? Yes, of course. Liquidity preference? Of course. Yes, of course. Risk return. And also, no one ever loses money investing in me. Y Combinator invested in me twice, 15,000 both times. So they got they put 30,000 into me. And while I didn't pay them, I offered to pay them back after the Microsoft Aqua hire, because um, I got, we got a lot of money from that, relatively a lot of money. And um, but Paul Graham was like, amazingly, he's like, this is not how we make our money. I'd be horrified if you, if you thought I would, I would want to be paid back. Like he's like, just go work on interesting things. It's so awesome. One of my favorite emails I ever got. Um, fucking great guy. I talk shit about Y Combinator, but I fucking love him. Um, and anyway, anyone who's ever bet on me has had great things happen. Um, so, and I would ne I would always ensure that investors. Oh, anyway, I think I've put hundreds. I've put hundreds of thousands of dollars in both donations and investments into YC startups. So it's like I feel like I've, you know, I, those two investments. There was not a direct payback of those, but there was indirect more than 10x return. Not to mention, I probably helped them make billions of dollars off Airbnb and Stripe from the work I did unpaid, uncredited for those companies in the beginning. And I can tell you more about that. Not to, I mean, I'm not to t take away anything from those guys, but like, I, d I helped them with some really critical things in the early days. Um, and, um, but that's what I just tried to do. I just tried to bring out the best in everyone around me. And um, holy shit, this is a long, boring video. I'm sorry. Must read, co-intelligence, living, working with AI. Interesting. I like the software in the age of AI. I wanna see years. So let's see if we can, other recommended reading, okay. We're gonna take this. If you're still watching, you're in for a treat. We're gonna do something fucking awesome. Um, do we have books? Let's just take any one of these. This is fine. Look at the source code for this file. Let's open ChatGPT. Click on raw. Below is a scroll set. Let's use the canvas for it's a scroll set. I want you to make a scroll set for the Bloomberg reading list. Bloomberg beta.
lot to do this too, just in case ChatGPT doesn't do a good job. Ah, ChatGPT did not do such a great job. job than oh yeah okay they did a good job nice job chat gpt it just looked bad on the open ai okay so now let's go into this reading list thing here all right and um just gonna create a new file called reading I can change ID. Let's change this to title. And then let's just change this so it's a little bit clearer. Format book. Of course it looks, but... Oh, they didn't do... Uh, ChatGPT didn't get it. Didn't get it all. So it's not the most... Not going to be the most beautiful of demos. But... Got the site like why am I bothering? What's in this guy? Okay, so we, we're gonna get rid of that. We don't need the forms. We're just gonna print table. We don't need this page footer. Imagine how fast this would have been with fast internet. So we're doing this whole thing with like <laughs> third world internet and it's working decently enough, um, but not good enough, but oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Look, scroll hub runs locally. We're just gonna we're gonna do it local and now now you can see how fast this thing really is reading top scroll oops what did i just say okay publish and uh let's build html let's do theme let's do gazette and so we need to go to reading Oops. Reading.html. Category, title, print table. Library.word. Oh, for goodness, I spoke too soon. Print table. Oh, build concepts. Gotta write the actual concepts first. But now we got it as CSV. Um, let's add search. Okay, Bloomberg beta reading list. Why did they put that? Um, Bloomberg beta reading list. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's why uh, that's smart. They used the word ID because we already use the word title. Oh my goodness. So that we're just gonna we're just gonna change um, title to name. Just because I don't want to think too hard right now, but we could have we could have done another thing to, to fix that, but we're just gonna do that for now. Oops. Name. And then of course, what what, what are the changes we made here? We got. Okay. Okay. So now we've got a bunch of books. Now watch this. Let's go ahead and let's add a rank. Just so you can see. Um, 
Let's put the rank first. Select rank. Well, we, we don't have the real time complete yet, but. Um, so we got 17 recommendations. Let's add a year to these. Because that's really what I wanted to get at. It's like. Um, here's my scroll set. Add a year, year field, and fill in that data. Now imagine, like, like as you can see, scroll and LLMs match made in heaven. Like, this is no integration, and yet look at how well it works. This is perfectly hand edited and you're like wondering like why well because i've been working on this for a decade and thinking about where the future was going for so long and and, and getting the math right and doing experiment after experiment to make sure that this is going to work so okay because really what ah uh, so here's the thing i thought the reading list was going to be some classics but really you're not recommending anything written before 2000 because my reading list of entrepreneurship is like my father Marconi made in so it's like uh, made in Japan made in America it's all the classics from from that generation of entrepreneurs in the 1800s and early 1900s and mid mid 1900s um, I don't really like the new stuff but anyway maybe I'm missing out sorry this is real long-winded um, but that is Bloomberg Beta. Give it, give it a shot. Cheers. It's one o'clock. I got to get moving back into the city.